Hi everyone, it's Robin from ArtisticTrendStudios.com and SVGCoop.com and I am uh, coming back from a long stint with COVID and having lots of children move back home and now that it's a little bit better, everybody has kind of moved back out and on their own and independent again, which is really nice for them. Of course, I miss them all, but that's okay. Um, so while I was trying to organize and put everything kind of back to where it was, I came across this old album that I had done and you can see it's falling apart and I've been scrapbooking since the 1900s. Okay, not that long ago, 1980s, which to you might be a long time, but for some of us that's really like yesterday. Anyway, back in the 80s when we first started, all we had was construction paper, some scissors that have, you know, design cuts in them, and um, if you were lucky, some stickers. Anyway, uh, so I came across this album, and you can see it's definitely 90s style. All the pictures have basically been cut. They have an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper behind them. That was our big adventure as far as designing and creating these pages. And of course, the pictures don't necessarily go with what's on the photos. So I'm going to adventure through my book, take a step back in time, and try to refurbish this album. And while I'm doing it, I'm going to design some new pages, new titles, new SVGs, and that type of thing. And also, while I'm at it, I'm going to be creating some training videos on how to create some of these SVGs yourself uh, using Illustrator, Inkscape, um, Photoshop, InDesign, uh, Cricut Design Space, um, I don't know if I said Inkscape or not, but Inkscape, um, and whatever tools we need to create some fun things. So I'm hoping that you will take this adventure with me through time and rebuild and recreate some albums. And as much as this album is precious to me because it is definitely an indicator of time, the fact that it's falling apart um, makes me a little bit sad. But I do feel like uh, when we do the scrapbooking, it really creates a history for our families to go back to. You know, there's going to be photos in here that um, some of the kids may not, you know, remember the person. So I need to do some journaling. Of course, there's little pieces like this that one of my kids was helping me scrapbook this way back when. And you can see the stickers are kind of piled all over the place. So I'm going to try to incorporate these types of things in my album once I fix this. Um, but anyway, so hopefully you will join me. I'm going to make the SVGs available one way or another. Uh, sometimes we're going to be creating brandy new ones of our own. Sometimes I'll be using some from, you know, some places where you can purchase them yourself. Um, and we'll figure out how to make those available to you if you want to create similar pages and that kind of thing. But I'm hoping, again, like I said, that you guys will join me on this adventure and we'll have a little bit of fun, um, you know, kind of going back. And maybe some of you will want to go back. Maybe you have boxes of photos like I do or tons of digital photos that haven't been printed that, you know, if we don't print them and we don't do anything with them, the history gets lost. So let's get our history back. Let's recreate some of this stuff together. If you have ideas or questions or um, any kind of comment that, you know, will help bring us along this journey together, I would be really happy to entertain those. So uh, I will put some links in the bottom for the websites and um, the Etsy shop and things like that. But I am going to try to make as much um, available for free as possible. Um, I'm also going to be reopening the Facebook groups that we have, so I'll put a link to those at the bottom as well, and uh, I look forward to seeing you there. So thanks for joining me.